He, pl he pleaded guilty to one account of bribery, uh, accepting uh, money from Mr. Massey and Mr. Gilly uh, during the course of his being represented in the House. Uh, Mr. Spicer has been cooperating with the government uh, since 2009 in this investigation. Uh, he's accepted total responsibility for what he did, and as a result of that, he's entered upon his plea agreement with the government to plead guilty to one account of bribery. What led to the decision today? The government had approached us, and we, like I said, we've been cooperating with the government since, since Mr. Spicer uh, has been cooperating with the government since 2009. Uh, our firm got involved recently this year and have been able to work out the plea agreement with the government. Do you anticipate him testifying at the retrial starting? He, he's ready, willing, and able to do whatever is requested of him with the government. He's agreed to cooperate in anything. Have they asked that he can testify? Uh, I, I have not received any information from the government. Do you anticipate that he'll testify in any other cases other than the pending bingo case? I do not think so. Will he be serving prison time? I, I, I would want to speculate on that. How is he holding up? He's holding up very well, very well. He really is. He's got a good support from his family, friends, and uh, colleagues. Is he disturbed, upset, scared, angry? Obviously, he's scared and upset, but he's accepting responsibility for what he did. And that's why we're here today. That's all, that's all I have. We, we heard a lot in the during trial, but what, is, what was his relation exactly with Jared Massey? Jared Massey said he was his best man at his wedding. You know, they went on trips together. What exactly was their relationship? They were just lifelong friends. That's all I have to say.